Oh my gosh, there are so many baby T-Rexes, as Nate would call them. Otherwise known as goose friends. <laughs> but they have so many baby T-Rexes there, it's hilarious. <laughs> Good morning everybody and happy Saturday. Right now I'm out here at North Park here in McCandless, PA. It's just north of Ross Township in the city. It's in Allegheny County Park. One of uh, the hidden gems that we have here, you know. A lot of people come up here, but if you're from out of town, a lot of people don't know about this place. It's such a cool little place to just come back and forget that you live in a city. This is one of those places here. We have a few other parks like this nearby, but this is the closest one to me where you literally forget that you live in a city, and it's just so peaceful out here. I mean, there's the boathouse there where they have a restaurant. You can rent kayaks and boats and canoes, and you can just go ahead and paddle out on this lake. I've seen people out here with paddle boards. I have a little one of those little inflatable boat things and I've taken that out here several times before too and I've paddled this whole lake. It's a pretty big lake, you know, for being man-made too. It goes all the way around those trees way up ahead where you can't see it anymore. So many goose friends out here today too, as Nate calls them. There are probably like 50 of them and then there's little baby ones up there. This is probably one of my favorite spots here, is this little deck here that overgoes the water a little bit. When my dad was alive, he and I would come fishing out here all the time. They used to have these metal, like these metal things here, which are now bent. As you can see, this one's kind of hurting now. But they would have these, you could set your fishing rod in and just cast out into the lake. But now they got these new plastic ones here, as you see. I kind of like these a lot. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, and we would fish out here. We wouldn't catch, like, anything major. I caught, uh, I think I caught a striped bass out here once and catch a lot of small catfish and, like, sunfish because it's a freshwater lake, so. But the, the fish here are very small, so. Um, still, it was always fun to come out here with him and fish, and this would always be our spot right here, right by the uh, boathouse. We would park right up there, right where the CRV is. And just walk down this path and dodge the goose poop everywhere. <laughs> and it's everywhere. I mean, thankfully not so bad on here, but elsewhere. We'd set up on this picnic table here, have a picnic and whatnot. So even though he's not here anymore, you know, there are times I'll still come out here and fish when I can. You know, I don't go fishing nearly as much as, you know, I used to with him when he was alive, so... But when I can, I do. And it's great out here to ride your bike, too. If you want to jog or ride your bike, I'm always, like, riding my bike, you know, up up here on this road. They have a bike trail, and it goes all the way around the lake, literally all the way around, and then eventually on the other side of the lake over there. So that's always really cool. Sorry, I was distracted because I saw, like, a bubble in the water, so I figured, like, a fish was just nearby and jumped. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much to see here. It's really murky. I don't see any fish in there yet. See a couple little bubbles up this way here, though, but nothing yet. I've spotted some baby ducks and their mother. <laughs> That's pretty cool. just hanging out I'm sure if you saw Nate in the morning uh, his 500th episode you would have seen where he went to Ashtabula Ohio and Linesville PA where the Linesville spillway is where the ducks and geese walk on the fish yeah th that's a spillway where there are so many carps because it's uh, it's a habitat uh, waters for uh, the fish there 
And uh, we have our own little spillway here at North Park, but no carp though, no fish for the uh, birds to walk on. <laughs> it's still pretty cool though. Look, someone actually got the Penguins logo down there. I don't know how anybody got down there to do graffiti. It looks like it goes inside of the tunnel under the road here and out the other side. But I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. We're going to cross the street here because that spillway goes like under the road here and it lets out over here. So I was saying how it looked like graffiti went completely under the bridge or tunnel. And out this way, I wonder how hard it is to get down to this side. I'm sure the water is a little rough, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, it keeps dropping down more. Oh, wow, look, there's a couple of cranes. See them flying away? <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see now. If we walk over here, oh, yeah, I guess you could somehow drop down. If you go, like, way up there, you could get down there. I know I wouldn't want to. Yeah, it's graffiti all over here. If you look, it's like way down in here and whatnot. So, no thank you. <laughs> Not me going down there. We got some duck friends down there. How about those cranes that flew away? That was cool. This is just such a beautiful park and lake. I love coming out here. A guy on a kayak out there fishing. That's one of the things I really love about the morning or the birds singing. That 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 right there just always puts a smile on my face to hear that. I hear that at work in the morning when I first get there and it's it's really nice knowing that the next eight hours at work are gonna be long <laughs> and I'm not gonna be able to have any fun. But that's really cool when I can hear that and be that close to it too. That's a thing like Sometimes I like to sleep in on the weekends, but then if I sleep in too late, then my my day feels wasted and I, I end up feeling depressed. So I like being up early, even on my days off and coming out here to North Park or just driving around in the car or even going down by the river in Millville. You can't beat this. This is so nice for Pittsburgh here. Now they have this little thing here that goes over the water. And to my like knowledge, it's always been closed. I've never been able to walk out onto this thing over the water, which stinks. I really like this, and I would love to just go out on there to look around, but you're never able to. It is summertime now, after all. I wish it would be open. There's the entrance to it, and they got it gated and locked, which stinks. I would love to just sit on this little thing and just hang out over the water. That's all. I'm sure they do it because people want to fish or they'd hang out here all night. I mean, I'd, I'd probably try. <laughs> Looks like it's in pretty beat up shape though anyway. It might not be safe, which is a shame. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this morning video. Sorry it's a little bit late. It is actually Saturday morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning and I just, I really wanted to give you a true morning show 
Plus, I really wanted to get out of the house. I didn't do anything Friday after work. I just kind of took it easy. I was feeling really tired and beat up from a long week at work. And I just wanted to relax. And I did that. And the perk of that was I was able to get up earlier Saturday morning so I could come out here and just enjoy the park for a little bit. Because even though I live in Pittsburgh and I'm still in the county, this is a great place to escape. It's so close and it's nice. So... I really wanted to just come out here and hang out for a little bit and give you guys a morning show from here. And I'll be coming back here to do more morning videos for you guys to show you other places of North Park. This place is actually quite large. It's not just like the lake. They have parks and other places up on the hills and whatnot, like the pool, the lodge. There's all kinds of places. So I'll be bringing those uh, videos to you guys over the course of the summer. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure you guys will really like those. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give it a like. If you're not working today, I hope you make the best of your day. I hope you have a great Saturday today. If you're working, I hope work goes by really quickly for you and you're able to enjoy your day. And, uh, wow, it's supposed to be nice, so I'm going to take advantage of the nice weather. I'd like to hit the water. I don't know if I'll be able to hit the water over here, but, uh, and maybe not even North Park, but who knows? I might hit the water up somewhere else. Who knows where tomorrow's morning video will be coming from? I, I don't know. I have so many uh, ideas to do today. Well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a great Saturday. I'll talk to you later. Stay tuned for abandoned videos coming up next week. I'll talk about those a little bit tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy this great day. I'll talk to you later, guys. Take care. Stay awesome. Bye.